I thank United States of America and Mr. President for the new defense package for Ukraine, a very powerful package. Thank you so much. And it has exactly what our soldiers need. Well, that was Zelensky today, big meeting on the Hill and at the White House. But the truth is, political support for continued appropriations for Ukraine is declining, especially among Republicans. But Democrat Pat Ryan from Kentucky, is he from New York or Kentucky? I thought he was from Kentucky, but yeah. tried to blame it on extremists, saying that the very extreme right has hijacked the Republican Party and lost this bipartisan consensus we had that we are for democracy and for freedom. But our next guest, he actually supports helping Ukraine and will explain what's really happening here. Congressman Mike Waltz, great to have you with us. You sit on the Armed Services and Foreign Affairs Committee. Congressman, now, it, it, there's no doubt about it. Uh, in both parties, support is declining among the people who right. actually pay the bills. Right. What are you seeing? Well, look, number one, Biden has screwed this up. Uh, we Deterrence failed on the front end. Then he refused to give them what they needed to actually win. I mean, drug his feet, everything from patriots to tanks to planes. Uh, and then now he's basically backed us into a stalemate uh, and won't come to Congress or the American people with a strategy for how long are we going to be in this, what's in our interest, how are we going to get there, number one. Number two, Laura, you know, he wants me to go to my constituency, American people, and say, keep digging deeper in your pockets. We're not going to tell you how long, we're not going to tell you how much or the strategy <laughs> to get there, but won't ask the Europeans to dig deeper into theirs. And I'll just leave you with this stat. Nine out of the 31 NATO countries have lived up to their 2% commitment. Germany just backed away from theirs despite their promises last week. So they're promising a lot. They're talking big. But what they're actually delivering is a fraction of the military aid of the United States. And when we've got our border out of control, every time an American goes to the gas pump, inflation's out of yeah, control. Just, but yet to yeah. say more, more, more and put the burden, Biden wants to put the burden on the American people, not the Europeans, not the international community. And I'm at the point where unless we can get a strategy and the Europeans well, to step up, I can't continue uh, to support unlimited aid going forward. The well, era of blank checks Nobody is over. wants anyone to roll over Europe, but one would, obviously, that's not what anyone wants. However, right. one would think if this were truly an existential threat to the West, that the West, in the closest proximity to Russia and Ukraine, would in fact be ponying up the cash. And they're not doing it. And yet our border's out of control. We just did the most disturbing segment about Biden waving in 500,000 work permits for Venezuela. It's more to, more to come. And Americans are like, well, what about us? It's not that we don't support democracy. Of course you support democracy. But yeah. this is not 1988. We don't have the cash. We're $34 trillion in debt. And we have a lot of Republicans on the Hill, and I'm not trying to name names here, but who are just like, well, Ukraine, Ukraine, what are you going to do about Ukraine? I'm like, what are you going to do about Arizona, Texas, Florida, right. and every other state that's having trouble? Look, I've said repeatedly, uh, stopping Putin cold was in our interest. They're doing the fighting and dying, asking for the for the beans and the bullets. But you know what? Who's going to provide them? Who should provide We're them? We're out of money. Poland, for example, has an economy a fourth the size of France, yet it's providing four times as much. France, Germany, Italy, those big economies aren't stepping up. And in fact, they're they're backing away. And I mean, well, they're not you, sending weapons. I mean, Poland. Yeah, Poland they'll say is, they're sending. They're, they'll yeah. promise cash yeah. over a lot of years, but what they actually but send, the, and they're not sending weapons. And it's weapons that's going to stop this war, not yeah. all of this other well, hot air but coming I think from I, the Europeans. One of the things that I have trouble with, maybe you can help me with this, is that we, our policy as a government, seems to be continuing to engage with China. In fact, throwing ourselves at the feet of China, I think, trying to make. China richer and more prosperous, bring China along, maybe yeah. they're going to like us more. And yet China is helping Russia. So as long as we're, you know, completely embarrassing ourselves uh, with China, how, how are we going to the American people to help Ukraine when we're helping China? The largest solar panel factory in the world is in western China on slave labor being powered by coal-fired power plants on Russian coal. So this, this administration's climate obsession that is selling out the country and putting us right in the hands uh, of, of the Chinese. How, how damaging is it to conservatism today 
uh, and I would say it's much more of an America first conservatism. You know, 84 percent of all the people yeah. are supporting either Trump or DeSantis or Vivek Ramaswamy. That's about 84 percent of the electorate. Everyone else has a little support, but not much. That's really where the party is. And given that, what about Senate leadership? How do you see it over in the House? Do you feel like we have strong leadership in the Senate that's really carrying the torch for the policies that the voters care about? I think what the American people want to see right now from Senate leadership is getting our border under control and fighting uh, to do that. And that's exactly what we're going to send from the House uh, over to the Senate with these funding packages. But, Laura, can I just say one other thing? To say, you know, for the Democrats, for Biden to say, if you have questions about funding you, the Ukraine war, if you want to see a strategy, if you want to know how long this is going to go, if you want to see real burden sharing, that you then don't support democracy is an insult to them. It's an insult to the American people. It's an insult to me. Well, it's these people are for packing the court and for flooding the country. With uh, By the end of the Biden administration, it'll probably be like 12 million people. And, that's and, that's and democracy? you want to lecture about abandoning allies. Let's go right back to the Afghanistan well, withdrawal and the message that that sent to the world that basically greenlighted uh, Putin to, to but, go but in. But, Congressman, in the first place. do you agree yeah. then with McConnell that Biden has been slow on funding Ukraine? Because, I mean, it sounds like that's what you were saying earlier that we needed to give them, if we only gave them no, more, no, it's not more money. More. It's get them what they need to win right up front and end this thing. Uh, rather than drag things out. I mean, one thing we want to clarify, it's, it's not bags of cash, it's the military hardware. Give them the tanks, planes they need up front, win it. But now, because he's slow ro rolled all of this, it's going to get this drug is, out. Yeah. He's backing us into an endless war. And then he wants us to go to the American people and say, keep digging deeper Amer in your politics. Americans are going to end this war. And it's going to be ended like Iraq was ended and Afghanistan. I mean, it is going to be ended. One way, I mean, people are not going to go on for these forever wars anymore. What's the, path not... to, what's the path to a peaceful resolution? Well, summer offensive, spring offensive. Now it's the fall offensive. Maybe it'll be the winter offensive. I mean, I, I just think this is a fool's errand to think that Americans are going to keep saying yes to this. As much as we want Ukraine to succeed, and of course we do. Um, of course. I'm, it's so good to see you. Thank, Thank you, you for holding their feet to the fire and come back soon. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.